All right. Uh, you know what? No. What, what do you say? What did you just say you listen to during the show? Sometimes? I listen to H three H three. You fucking mark. <laughs> it's Gila in those eyes. Those lifeless eyes. I want eyes. you to fire me. You fucking mark. All right. Let's uh, let's talk about Brian Callen. Uh, Brian Callen, as you know, about two years ago, got accused in a newspaper article of being a little too aggressive with the girls. Young girls, um, right? There, no, no, no. He wasn't the young girls one. Oh, okay. There's too that many That was of Delia. Those. That, yeah, that was Chris Delia. Chris Delia was texting the very close to not of age girls and getting a little frosty with them. But Brian Callen is the one where the of age women... We're saying he, you know, he took me on a date, but he got a little too handsy, got too aggressive. I told him no. He kept trying. Blah 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 blah. It was a horrible experience. I'm scarred. I mean, it was. I think it was. <laughs> I'm scarred. I think it was three women in this story. Okay. Came forward, and it caused him to have to leave the fighter and the kid. Uh, he had to go underground for I think like uh, six months or so, maybe less. And now he's back on the fighter and the kid. That show's falling the fuck apart because him and Brendan act like 10-year-olds. Yeah, so he weathers the first storm to get into this one. And again, all of these storms he walks into are of his own making. Yes. You know, calling up and threatening Bobby Lee, uh, Brendan Schaub talking a little too fresh with Kalila, and allegedly Annie Lederman and all this other shit. These guys are too fucking dumb to stay famous. They're just They're too stupid. They're ruining it for themselves. You know... The, the Brendan Shaw, Brian Callen dynamic makes me believe in the free market. Because the free market dictates that if something is bad, people will know it's bad and they won't support it and it'll go away. Stop watching. And for a couple of years, Shaw and Callen got the Rogan bump and Rogan had them on and would talk about how great they were. And a bunch of Rogan fans would break off and go, oh, these guys are good. Joe said they're good. Well, these guys have made a enough mistakes, enough foolish retorts and mm -hmm. comments and behaviors and shit that people have finally figured it out and now they struggle to get to a hundred thousand views and i know what their supporters mm -hmm. when we put this up as a video will say they'll go Man, you only have a couple thousand on each year so i don't give a shit you'll never accomplish what they have that's fine and maybe i never will but the fact is they were at a point and they're falling apart Mm -hmm. whereas we're going like this. You don't have to be at their level to criticize them. As a matter of fact, it's more fun to be at this level and criticize them. Always more fun to punch up. So Brian Callen has those accusations. Mm -hmm. Well, the homeless cats at the Fighter and the Kids subreddit dig did a little digging, and they found some old Brian Callen uh -oh. that does not age well. Okay. He and Brendan were doing a show with Chael Sonnen. And I love Chael Sonnen. Mm -hmm. He's a shit talker, former MMA guy. He's great. Watch Chael Sonnen be a yes and guy with Brian to a point. You're going to see the point in the conversation where Chael Sonnen tries to actually lean out of frame. Oh my so God. So he doesn't have to be on screen while Brian Callen is talking like a fucking creep. I don't want to share this camera space with you. Let's go ahead and watch uh, Brian Callen make what I call an admission. I'm, well, I'm not the way. pussy. Oh, by the way. By not the, way, the pussy, bro. I've been making out with a woman before, and I've got... Whoa! <laughs> Unfortunate. Do you even play sports, bro? <laughs> All the women watching are... Li not me. <laughs> you don't play sports and crush puss like I do, bro. I've made out with a girl before. What? How about you, Brendan? Oh, I've made out with a Mexican. Oh, very good. Brendan. Oh, what? Well, every time Brendan Schaub talks, don't you just feel like going, yes, Brendan. Absolutely. But I you just need wanna, to pat him in the head. I want to pat him on the head. I want to give him a doggy treat because he doesn't know the difference. He's a good boy. A good boy, Brendan. You got it. Good boy. You make words. Good boy, potty on pad. Oh, good boy, potty on pad, Brendan. <laughs> he was doing an interview recently where he says, people say I have CTE. I don't. I've talked like this since I was a kid. I would stick with the CTE <laughs> thing. At least there's an excuse why you sound like a fucking idiot. Don't tell people you've been like this for no Ooh. reason. And I know, Brendan, it's not an admiral position of intelligence to be in where I have to tell you, just say you have CTE. It's way better that way. Yes. But in your case, you're of limited options when it comes to expressing your intelligence. <laughs> We're giving you an out with the CTE thing. You don't answer our out with, no, I've always been borderline fucking retarded. 
No, I've just uh, been, I've stepped in that ring as a man so many times. You know, I got taken a few too many hits to the head. Oh, Brendan, you got in with Joe Rogan, so you kind of got artificially boosted. You know, you don't earn your fame, but you got a rich dad, so it kind of worked out. And yeah, you sound stupid, but it's because you got punched in the head. Uh uh-uh, uh, I've been stupid since I was six. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, I was trying to give you an out, but. I love how this is about Brian and Brendan says one word and I'm like, God, I, I, I just started realizing that this went off the rails about Brendan. <laughs> every time I forget Brendan's stupid, yeah. he talks and I go, oh, that's right. It's like opening that Christmas present every time he opens his mouth. Uh, Brian, I think I kissed a girl once. He, it, this really is a George and Lenny relationship. <laughs> Which is which, though? He's definitely George. No, Lenny. You know what? Chael Sonnen is George, and there's two Lennys sitting here. <laughs> See, that makes more sense. That's what it is. Chael Sonnen, I'm comfortable calling George. I made out with this girl once, but I petted her too hard after, <laughs> and she tried to sue me. And she went in the New York Times and called me a rapist. Oh, fuck. Uh, Annie Lederman <laughs> accused me of trying to get me to suck her dick in the car, uh, Brian. Well, aren't we just a couple of fuck-ups? <laughs> All right, let's continue on with this guy. I'm sorry. I can tend the rabbits, George. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Oh, man. Can you play sports and crush puss, bro? (laughs) Uh, These guys are like everything that's like, these are every, these two are the projection of everything that is not masculine or as Brendan would say, maskin. These are like guys who who don't know how to be men. Yeah. Look at these two and go, this must how you be a man. This is why we're ending up with so many Spurgs who claim they're alphas. Yes. And they're just a bunch of fucking crybabies is because they watch guys like Brendan and Brian who say they've gathered 300 page dossiers of people on Reddit and then claim don't care about the haters, bro. This is, you look at guys like Brendan and Brian and that's how you try to become a man. Stop. Let your single mom teach you how to be a man. Oh, no. You're better off that way. Shh, no. I'm serious. That has never been said on the Go to show. the gas station <laughs> worker who sold your dad the cigarettes he bought on his way out of town. He'll teach you how to be a man more than this Brendan and Brian will. I'm envisioning that gas station worker giving him a whole spiel like, no. No, do I not, no, do not listen to Brian and Brendan. Those two are uh, <laughs> academically probably borderline retarded. There's no reason to listen to them. <laughs> Take note from your father. Yes. Uh, let's watch Brian Callen talk about how he's made out with a girl before. And let's watch Chael Sonnen wear jeans and sandals, which is disconcerting. Oh, See, by the way. Wait, not wait, the pussy, bro. I've been making out with a woman before, and I've gone down. I've gone places, and Ew. I've had her take my hand and go, no. Oh, my God. Get ready. <laughs> you know, the story should end there. That's the admission already. <laughs> the story should end there Look. if you are a public figure... Who's been accused of doing some dirty, dirty shit. I think we should have trailed off after he started saying, I've gone places. <laughs> and by the way, this is, this is before the accusations. Mm. So this is an admission, a pre-admission of guilt right here. Get, so is get he ready. like trying to get it off his chest early or this something? Might, yeah, this might be a guilty conscience. Yeah. See, maybe that's why these two are falling apart and their show is dying is because they deep down know they don't deserve it. They didn't earn it. They were given the Rogan rub mm-hmm. and they fucked it up. Yeah. And they couldn't be Segura. As much as I don't like Segura or Kreischer, at least they got the Rogan bump they and they made something of it. They were successful. These two have been trying to torpedo the fucking Rogan bump every time he gives it to them. Every fucking There's another time. one, guys. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 guys. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Joe's done. Joe's done giving it to him. With yeah, these- for sure. Brian's not done giving it to him. Get ready for this. Well, he's going to grab his hand and say no, though. He's going to get some puss, bro. <laughs> and I've had her take my hand and go, no. <clears throat> and, but, and, and, and I go, okay, not, not tonight. Or, by the way, give me a couple more minutes to kiss you and move them around. I'm going break, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to break these walls down. Try it again. <laughs> that is so uncomfortable. Look at Chael's son and how uncomfortable <laughs> he is. And he's going to try and add something here. And eventually in the conversation, he's just going to go, you know, fuck it. I, don't, I like. I almost beat we, Anderson Silva. I'm going to step out of this one. I was going to say, why are we on this subject in this type of podcast? Because Brian and Brendan crush puss, bro. But, the guys, I'm sorry. You guys who are going to comment on this and call me an asshole and I'm never going to be as successful as these two. 
I have to look at you guys and say, subscribe to this channel, watch our show, because you're growing up to be very sad, sad men. Men, in quotations. If you're looking at these guys and that's your idea of masking, you guys are fucked. Turn it in. Don't talk to women anymore. Not that it's going well now. Just go to work and go home. And those are the only two places you should... If you like these two and you, they're, they're the symbol of what guys are, I'm putting you under house arrest. I have to. You've got it all wrong. They're it's, the cool ones. No, these guys are a problem. <laughs> they have to not go out in public anymore. They're embarrassing to everybody. I'm just so uncomfortable listening to Brian Callen talk about trying to go down on a woman. You know what a fighter in the kid fan looks like in public when they talk to me here here tell me this is what a person listening to a fighter in the kid fan reacts to them in public <laughs> okay and i know that you see people smile and say okay or yeah when you talk and you think yeah they fucking get me they just want you to shut the fuck up move along and that's the easiest way to do it i'm sorry guys but so, see, at least I tell you the truth. Subscribe to me. Fuck these two. And move around. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna. I'm gonna break these walls down. Try it again. Every fucking guy does that. And you haven't. You're. You're a liar. It's just. Whoa. Who's the liar? Ladies and gentlemen, a fool's cope from Brian Callen. When you know you're saying something creepy publicly, and in or that's a catch. That's him catching himself and going. <laughs> Did I just say on a podcast that when a girl tells me no, I go, why don't I try to trick her into fucking me? Um, this could come back to haunt me. You know what I'll do? I'll accuse everyone who's hearing me right now. I'll make them guilty of my crime and say, if not, you're lying. That way, I don't look so fucked up. But that's fucked. <laughs> yes. He's a fucked individual. There's, There's a, a reason of, he had to leave his podcast. There's a whole lot of mental gymnastics involved in yeah. this. Brian's a very manipulative guy. You look at the shit he pulled with Bobby right. and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Brian's a very manipulative dude. Called Seems being a man, and I'm proud of it. No. <laughs> Bro, I crush puss even when they tell me <laughs> not to. That's what I do. They tell me no, and I go, these are just guidelines, really. I crush puss. I'm a man. <laughs> and if you don't rape, then you're, not, you're lying. Like, what? I'm against it. Jeez. Dude. <laughs> means no don't listen to these dumbass fucking coaches who fucking get on here and tell you oh when you over a woman's house and then you know you try uh -oh. to go for it and she she resists you just chill out for a little bit uh -oh. and go for it again and uh -oh. then you know oh. maybe pull back and just go for it in and do the whole uh -oh. back and forth thing sounds like he's talking exactly about old brian callen that's sad bro that is the dumbest shit you can ever <laughs> fucking do Yes. I who is this? I don't know. It's too small to read. I love them. Women will give in because they don't want to be forced no more. Women right. will give up and just let you f them, bro. And then say, "Oh God, I hope this is over soon." Right. <laughs> and that's. But here's the here's the problem with this clip. This is what Brian was accused of. Mm -hmm. This is the thing he accused of. The thing that where he went away long enough that he could sneak back in. Yeah. He was accused of being too persistent, too aggressive, and the women just gave in. And That's I, kind of rape. It is. I I can understand that position too. Like as a and woman, you, it's like, no, I just kind of want this guy to be. And, and you know what's weird now. about that? If you take that definition, I would say a vast majority of women have been there. Yep, I can think of one specific time I was in that position. I, I would say where it's not like. You know, the, the classic definition of what we think of as rape. But it's like, this person's trying so much. And it could be a boyfriend, a husband, could be anything. And they're trying so hard that you're like, dude, I'm so fucking uncomfortable right now. Yep. That I will give in just so this discomfort can stop. <laughs> what do you need to be done faster? Ugh. Get out because of Because they feel like if it keeps saying no, this nigga gonna f*** me. So they'll just give up. This is considered f*** and sexual assault now. Y'all be coming on and coming on and coming on to a woman, coming on to a woman and coming on to her, and finally she just give up. It ain't because you finally clicked and you made her <laughs> horny. Like Brian said you did. Remember, Brian's like, I'm going to break those walls down. That really, all those, all the guys like that have the same personality too that all think that basically yeah, I crush puss and play sports. Right. Is that how it goes? Yes. That's how they behave. They, Credit to uh, Royce for that it's one. It's almost like... 
entitlement coming out of their behavior. It's really strange. Dude. I, I Raz of Chaz says, this is an old show of his, right? Yeah. This is an old show of Callan's. Before the allegations. Before the allegations, which is him admitting exactly the things the allegations said. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure it came back to haunt him pretty quick. I mean, that show is dying. Yeah. After the uh, Bobby Lee stuff and then Brendan's gringo poppy and all this shit Tanking. that there's and him canceling shows because he can't sell tickets. If you're a fighter and the kid fan and you're watching this when we put up put this up as a clip, guys, it's over. Find a new show. Find this, this one's one. fine. Uh, Roger uh, Roger Dodger says next thing you know, Dave Portnoy is behind you. All right, wait. <laughs> I I want to like Dave Portnoy. But now yeah. I'm not so sure he hasn't done this before. Right. Because um, wasn't it there one woman that accused him of something? There's been some accus- aggressive. There's been some accusations about Dave Portnoy. He's denied him. He's given his side of the story. And it's one of those things where there's enough plausible deniability where you can't really hang anybody on it. You know, right. you can't nail him to anything. Yeah. Uh, Michael B says stick with food trucks. They can't talk. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, br- more Brian Callen and Brendan Schaub coverage for you. 27 years, neck deep in shit. And we move on. How uh, long do you give them? I, somebody took a screenshot of their YouTube views recently. Mm-hmm. I mean, a show like that, the money those two used to make, you can't make it on 100,000 views. Oh. This show could. This show on 100,000 views? Hell yeah. Mwah, great. <laughs> Swimming in but awesomeness. On that show, no, they can't oh. make it. I mean, they've already lost a bunch of staff. Another Thick Boy podcast guy just quit. Uh, they lost their producer a while back. That whole thing has fallen apart and couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Imagine working for Thick Boy Productions. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I'm going to my job at Thick Boy. <laughs> Are you? No, thanks. Don't. Don't go to your job at Thick Boy. 